here some information about the uh, care and feeding of this 540 inch big block Chevy. This water pump has got a, a rubber impeller that turns in that housing there and uh, it flexes inside the housing so uh, like it says on the label here don't run it dry over 30 seconds. I prefer not to run them dry at all really. If you want to start it up at home <clears throat> water through it you can take these two screws out and pop the cover off and then you can run it dry uh, you know within reason and uh, here at the lake I prefer to just leave the cover on and just go ahead and put it in the water first to start it to start it we've got a main power switch here that turns the main power on uh, that's the master switch and labeled as such. And then this is the fuel pump. Turn it up for on. This is the ignition switch. The other one is a bilge switch. Starter button here. And this is a, a kill switch. You hook up to the driver and uh, when it's a race boat, if it pitches the driver out, it pulls this thing and kills the engine. I doubt if you'll need to use that. But anyway, to start it, turn the main power switch on turn the fuel pump on. If it hadn't been started during the day, go ahead and give it one stroke and back off on the throttle to give it a little accelerator pump squirt of gasoline to get started on. And then with the main switch on and the fuel switch on, I hit the starter button as soon as it starts turning and flip the ignition switch on to start it. It may not want to idle much when it's dead cold, so when it gets a little bit of heat in it, then it idles. And then I prefer to uh, start it in gear. It's uh, it's in neutral where it is now, and uh, you just put the handle down to put it in gear. So I crank it up once it's in the water and get a little heat and get it idling good, and then shut the engine off, put it in gear, and then restart it in gear. I like that better than clunking it into gear while it's idling. A lot of people do that, and I don't guess it causes any trouble, but I don't like the sound, and it seems too, too brutal. Okay, that's it for, for this one. Thanks for listening.